from the JES First Warning Weather Center, here's Chief Meteorologist Patrick Rocky. Well, not only has it been cool and wet, it has been windy on this Monday, and those persistent northeast winds do cause their own problems. We're talking about some minor tidal flooding at times of high tide on Tuesday. High tide at Sewell's Point comes around 6 o'clock tomorrow evening, so the tide's where you are, maybe on either side of that, but do know that you may run into some water on the roads for your commute on Tuesday afternoon and Tuesday evening. We're in the middle of a soggy stretch of weather. We, we've got rain possible for six of the next seven days, and we've got some summer temperatures back on the way. Most of us didn't get out of the 60s today, but we've got 90s back in the forecast as we head toward the first weekend of summer. Not tomorrow, though. Most of us will still be in the 60s, upper 60s, low 70s for your Tuesday. Wet and windy will introduce the chance for some storms to the mix on Wednesday and Thursday. Notice temperatures warming up. We're back in the mid 80s by Friday. We'll also start to see more sunshine break out along with some scattered storms. First day of summer is going to feel like at 88 degrees with some afternoon storms. 90 for Father's Day with a chance for some afternoon storms. Plenty of sunshine by this time next week, but highs in the low 90s from the 60s today to the 90s by this time next week. That's a look at our first warning seven day forecast. Our next updates come on air at 7, 10 and 11, and we hope to see you then.